week, High Hopes Development Center is celebrating its 40th year as a nonprofit with a huge fundraiser, Strings and Stories. So joining me now with more about the event is Brandy Blanton with High Hopes. Brandy, good morning. Good morning. Thanks thank you, for having me. Thank you for being here. So tell us a little bit more about High Hopes because 40 years is a long time and a big impact in the community. It definitely is, and we're really excited to reach this milestone. We have a full um, host of activities throughout the year, but mm -hmm. this is our first fundraiser. Um, High Hopes predominantly serves children with special needs, mm -hmm. and we do that with an inclusive preschool and a pediatric therapy clinic in Franklin and a 30,000 square foot state-of-the-art building. Wow, what do you think makes this center mean so much to the community to why it's stuck around for all these years? Well, I think that um, being a person who has family member with special needs, mm -hmm. you understand how important that mission is. But when families are given the news they never expect to have, mm -hmm. we're there to hold them and guide their hands through the whole journey and uh, it's a magical place. And I know you've been there a few years now. What's it like to, to see these kiddos and to be able to work with them and service them in this way? Well, selfishly, I have four child grandchildren that attend school there. They're mm -hmm. typically developing, but to watch these children who've been told they'll never walk mm -hmm. take those first steps, um, it sounds cliche, but it's just as tear jerking as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And now people have the opportunity to support you guys yes. and the work that you're doing. So tell us a little bit more about the uh, Strings and Stories event that's coming up. So this is our 14th annual event of okay. Strings and Stories. Mm -hmm. We're back at the Franklin Theater, which if you've never been, the Franklin Theater is uh, just top of the line I've venue. I've heard it's wonderful. Uh, it is. And we have four songwriters with us this year. Okay. Uh, Tommy Sims, who's a Grammy Award winning writer mm -hmm. and um, just opened up for Mavis Staples in Franklin earlier wow. this year. Then we have uh, Sandy Emery Lawrence, uh, Trent Willman, and Beth Nielsen Chapman, who's also another Grammy Award winning writer. Okay, so when people come to the event, what can they expect to see? A lot of entertainment, it sounds like. Absolutely. Uh, part of your ticket is a $100 ticket that you can purchase through the Franklin Theater, franklintheater.com. Uh, aside from the entertainment, it's free wine and beer. Ooh, like and that. And of course, popcorn. Nice. You can't be at a theater without serving popcorn. But uh, during the midst of the sets, we will uh, share a little bit more about our mission as we reflect back with one of our families we served 10 years ago. Wow. Uh, taking that alumni approach as we celebrate 40 years. Mm -hmm. Sharing the stories. Absolutely. Um, and, and talk about the importance of having an event like this in the Nashville area. I mean, when you're talking about music and getting that involved with nonprofits, it's it's Music City. So it is. And you know, Franklin is 14 miles south of Music City, mm -hmm. but it is definitely sprawled into mm -hmm. our community. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we, I think you could have a, an, an event every night of the yeah. town and the region as we all just wrap our arms around the nonprofits of our community that stand in the gap. So it, it's it's just a wonderful thing and we're excited to celebrate these artists and their artistry. Mm -hmm. But also having events helps you cast that net wider, mm -hmm. invite people that may never heard of High Hopes before so we can kind of pull them into the family as supporters. Yeah, it sounds like a great way for people to give back and to have a great time, right? Absolutely. Great combination. All right, thank you, Brandy, for coming this morning. Oh, we too, appreciate Nicole. it. Uh, folks are going to have more information about strings and stories on our website. Just go to wkrn.com for all the ticket details.